Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Manjaro 21 on the left uh, versus Fedora 36 on the right. So these are both running on the XFCE desktop environment, as we can plainly see here. Now they are a little bit different. You can see on the right hand side with Fedora, it is actually running the highly unimaginative stock variant of XFCE. In fact, it doesn't even have a, a search menu like uh, Manjaro does, which is really nice. It is a little bit dark mode, so maybe not completely stock, uh, but uh, otherwise just really simple. It still has all the app categorizations, but just imagine trying to search through all these. It's just not that great. Although one of these options might help us, Application Finder. Okay, so we're gonna load up something different, do that again. And this is just very, very old school. I'm not a big fan of that one there at all. Whereas we've got Manjaro a little bit nicer. Having a look at the, the context menus, hey, they exist. Uh, right click open terminal, that keeps me pretty happy there. Let's uh, quickly jump across to the file uh, managers there. Now, oh, yeah, I'm just having some issues with the way that their stock version likes to work here. So they are pretty much of a muchness. I like this uh, light on dark mode approach Manjaro takes. Fedora's is very, very stock standard as well. It's just it's just not pretty in other words. And sometimes you want a slightly more aesthetically pleasing desktop environment to say the least. Uh, but they are running both a Thunar file manager there. Uh, let's see, we'll uh, jump into the back end and see what else we can find here. So we are actually running on the 5.15 kernel for, for Manjaro, whereas we are running on the 5.17 kernel for Fedora. Now Fedora is known to be a little bit more bleeding edge when it comes to kernels, but not too far off each other there. And last but not least, let's have a look at the RAM usage on boot up. So 567 megabytes of RAM for Manjaro, 581 megabytes for Fedora, which is a little bit strange. Maybe it's because of the updated kernel, although it's it's got the more simplified uh, silly little desktop stock environment there, so um, can't exactly speak to why. But in other words, pretty much the same uh, usage there in terms of RAM on boot up and CPUs nicely idling out for both. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.